Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I'm gonna do another request and this one is for Ghoul from 2015. And this is actually by my friend Vladi who requested this on, did I say that right this time? Vladi, Vladi? Hey. Hey, um, really quickly, I am I saying this right, Vladi? Yeah, Vladi. So I got it right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying not to say people's names wrong and I find it really hard. I'm not very good at speaking. This movie is very interesting and very different and I appreciated a lot of things and not so much some other things, but I'll get to that. But first, what is the premise of the film? And let me tell you, I was very excited when I found out what this film was actually about. So it's about like a documentary crew that are trying to start a pilot for a new documentary series. And what they decided to do is go into the Ukraine and find the world's most dangerous serial killer, I guess, or the world's most famous dangerous cannibal. So they travel through the Ukraine and they do a lot of interviews and it's more about the Ukraine's history of poverty, um, leading people to eat other people. And then they talk about this really crazy guy who was very violent and ate a lot of people, ate a lot of kids, and he's just like awful, awful person. So obviously they want to get an interview with him because he's still alive. So they try and set up an interview and they go deep and deep further into the village, further into the woods, until they go to this house. And this house is apparently where a lot of these murders took place. And they set up an interview with this guy and he decides not to show up. And then they wake up to find their driver gone and they're kind of stranded. Some things I really liked about this movie is obviously the setup, obviously the found footage, even though it is a little bit in your face. I really like obviously cannibalism on found footage, or cannibal holocaust, hello, like, ah. It was kind of halfway through the movie that lost me because the direction it was taking, it kind of steered away from. And this is what I really want to talk about with this movie in particular and a lot of movies that we're seeing coming out this year, especially The Witch. I like to use The Witch as an example because I feel like it's very split down the middle Lots of people love it and lots of people hate it. The people who love it um, really like classic horror and I'm not saying that that's better than new school horror or whatever, but they like a classic storyline. Um, they also like tension build up and more of a psychological kind of horror where like this new school, I don't know what word to, else to give it, but I'm going to say new school, but I, that's probably not what defines it, is like you like jump scares, you like things to be scary. If you want to watch a horror movie, you want to be scared. You know, if you want to watch a comedy, you want to laugh. So I, I, it's understandable if you want to watch your horror movie you want to be scared so I feel like this movie in particular and I guess going back to the witch the witch was very old school so people who expected a horror were let down where this movie the start obviously was very tension building had a great concept it was going places and then halfway through it kind of went new school on me and it went into a whole lot of just trying to please the audience and I wasn't really about it but some things I did really like about this movie is it did remind me of the Blair Witch Project especially being stuck out as a film crew in the middle of the woods with, um, you know, like evil presence. I don't want to like ruin it, um, but it is very, very Blair Witchy. Um, confused people, don't know what's going on, a um, little bit of possession going on, loved that. I also really like the aspect that they're trapped in a foreign country and being trapped in a foreign country makes things like triple as scary because you don't speak the language and you can't just like call a friend, like phone a friend in to come pick you up. I will say this movie is very action packed and that has a lot to do with pleasing the more modern horror audience, but that can be a good thing, it could draw you in. Sometimes you don't want things slow, sometimes, you know, the storyline asks for fast paced and I did like it but it just kind of lost me where there wasn't any meaning left um, but there were some really good subplots in this movie that I really liked um, there was a couple of characters that were together um, and I don't know I just made things a little bit more creepy at the end because you felt like they're a really close bunch of people so when people have that trust in each other and it's broken obviously something's really wrong one thing that really strangely annoyed me about this film was there was this constant flashing lights and this is obviously towards the end of the film where it starts things start going crazy and you're not really sure what's going on and it's very like Blair Witch in that kind of way but the flashing lights and it just was constant constant I guess it wasn't really noises but there was just constant flashing lights and it was just like okay enough already um, if you have problems with seizures or anything like that that's fucking serious and I would not watch this movie I'm gonna give this one a five out of ten just because first half great second half not so much so it's kind of in the middle. I'm gonna give it a scare score of... Actually, I'm gonna give it a 
six because I actually thought it was quite scary. Uh, it kind of lost me because I didn't really know what was going on, but doesn't mean I wasn't scared. Um, and originality score, I'm gonna have to give it a eight because it was pretty original. I have to give it to it. Like, I mean, it does mix like cannibalism, something that we've obviously explored before and found footage, which obviously is not original, but the idea behind it, I thought was really clever and really cool. And I'm just sad that it kind of was let down a little bit. This is one of those movies that I talk about, which had such a promising premise and it would be really cool if it was remade. Let me know what you guys thought. If you've seen this movie, let me know down below. If you're gonna watch it, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys soon. Stay spooky. Bye.